Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn chapter 6, Alternating Current. In this video, we are going to discuss 6.4, Power and Power Factor. So before we start to do discussion, let's go through first what is the uh, equations that we will use for 6.4. Okay, so power here, we can divide it into a few equations. Eh? So the first one is the power dissipated. Okay, or sometimes they will call it as power average. Okay, so power dissipated as a heat or power loss or sometimes we call it as power average only happen in rare system. Okay, meaning that only resistor will dissipate. Uh, okay, the power will dissipate in the resistor. Okay, capacitor and also uh, inductor, there's no power dissipate. Okay, so since only dissipate inside the resistor, equations uh, that we can use is P average. Okay, equals to I square R. Okay, only happen in resistor. Or we can write as V square over R, where V here you must take V resistor. Or we can use IV, where V again we are referring here is V for resistor. Okay, and remember, all this value must in RMS. Okay, because power dissipated, we must take the value for RMS. Huh? We cannot take I maximum. Okay, next one. The second one, we have P deliver from the source. Okay, or we can say P source. Okay, or sometimes we will say P supply. Or we can write P apparent. So, P deliver P source P apparent, we can write it as I square Z because it's total, or we can write V square over Z, and of course V here we must refer to the V source, or I VS, huh, where V also is referred to the source. Okay? And remember, all this value must written in RMS. Okay, next we have the third part is the power instantaneous. Okay, or P instance. Okay, so P instantaneous here, we have two types of P instantaneous. The first one is for resistor. Okay, so P instantaneous for resistor equation is equals to I0, V0, psi, square, omega, t. Okay, P instantaneous meaning that at that moment, what is the power? Okay, and P instantaneous for a capacitor and also inductor is equal to half i naught v naught sine two omega t. So these are the three types of power. Okay, with a different equation. Okay, next one we also need to know what is power factor. Okay, power factor. So power factor here is actually cos theta. Okay, so cos theta the equation is equal to p average over p apparent, or we can write as p average is equal to i square r p apparent is equal to i square z okay so i square s square we can cancel okay so it's equal to r over z or we can write as vr over v source okay let's continue with example 13 a voltage represented by the equation v equals to 15 cos 314t is applied across a pure resistor of 20 ohm so number one determine the vrms across the resistor okay so our vrms is equal to V0 over sub 2, where V0 here already give you 15, uh, 15 over sub 2, therefore we will get 10.6 volt. B, find the average electrical power delivered to the resistor. So here actually we are referring to the power delivered. Okay, so power deliver actually is a power uh, P apparent or power source. Uh, okay, and we notice that actually this is because uh, only connected, this circuit only connected with the pure resistor. So our P deliver actually also equals to P loss huh? because V source is equal to VR. Okay, so we can write P average is equal to I V, or you can write V square over R, or we can write I square R. So the equations that we use is actually the second equation since we have V and also resistor. So V here is uh, 10.6. Okay, remember as I mentioned just now, R must in RMS value. Huh? So we will substitute 10.6 and the resistor uh, 10.6 square and the resistor is 20. Okay, therefore, our P average uh, electrical power delivered to the resistor is equal to 5.621. Okay? okay, next, what is the maximum instantaneous power that could possibly deliver to the resistor? So, I instantaneous, uh, P instantaneous, okay, P instantaneous is equal to I0, V0, sine, square, omega, T, okay, for resistor. So, we can substitute I0, V0, where when we question say maximum, meaning that sine square omega t here must equal to 1. So, P instantaneous is equal to I0, V0. Okay, so I0 we don't have, but we can find, or we can use straight away, we can use uh, V0 square over R, or we can use I square R. Okay, 
So the equations that we can use, of course, is the second one. Eh? Okay, since we have V and R, so we substitute V naught. Where V here, we have 15. Eh? So we can substitute 15 square over resistor. Resistor is 20. Eh? Okay, therefore, P instantaneous is equal to 11.31. Example 14, an alternating current with the pure resistor 5 ohm where the potential difference V across the resistor is stated by the equation V equals to 20 sine omega t. Okay, calculate the I RMS across the resistor. Okay, so since we have the value for R and also V, so we can use V RMS equals to I RMS R. Okay, V equals to I R. Okay, so V RMS here we don't have, we only have the V naught. So we can use uh, V naught to find V RMS where V RMS is equal to V naught over set 2. So it's 20 over set 2. Therefore, 14.14. Okay, so we substitute here. 14.14 equals to I RMS and the value for R is 5. Therefore, I RMS is equal to 2.83 ampere. Okay, B. Calculate the average power loss in the resistor. So our P average here is equal to I square R or V V square over R or we can write I V but V here we must take the resistor V for resistor okay so since we have the value for I and also R so it's actually much more easier if we use the first equation so I substitute inside I is 2.83 square and the resistance is 5 therefore we will get 40 what okay next we will go to uh, example 15 uh, voltage V represented by the equation V equals to 15 sine 377 T is applied across a pure capacitor with the capacitance of 250 microfarad. Determine the maximum instantaneous power that could possibly deliver to the capacitor. So P instantaneous. Okay, P instantaneous for the capacitor. Okay, is equal to half I naught V naught sine 2 omega T. Okay, when the question mentioned maximum, meaning that sine 2 omega T is equal to 1. Therefore, our P instantaneous is equal to half I naught V naught. Okay, so since we don't have the value for I naught, okay, so we can actually change uh, V C equals to I X C. Okay, therefore I is equal to V C over X C. Okay, where V C here is uh, 15. Okay, and X C we don't have, but we can find X C by using the equation 1 over omega C. Okay, so 1 over omega is 377. C is 250 microfarad. Okay, therefore our capacitive reactance is 10.6. So we substitute here 10.6. Okay, then after that we will get the value uh, where the current here okay, we, we will get 1.415. Okay, we substitute inside here. Half I naught is 1.415 and V naught is 15. Okay, so remember because just now the value V naught that I substitute is maximum, it's not therefore the value that I get is also I naught. Okay, so this is actually I naught and V naught is 15. Okay, after pressing the calculator, uh, the value, the maximum cap instantaneous power is equals to 10.6 watt. Example 16, RCL series circuit has a components of R 350 ohm, C is 3 microfarad, L is 1.5 Henry, connected to 240 volt 50 hertz alternating source. So number one, calculate the inductive and capacitive reactance. So meaning that we want to find XL and also at C. XL is equals to 2 pi FL where the frequency is given 50 Hz and the inductor is 1.5 Henry. Therefore, our inductive reactance is equal to 471 Ohm. Okay, next capacitive reactance is 1 over 2 pi Fc. Okay, so we substitute F is 50, C is 3 microfarad. Therefore, the capacitive reactance, after pressing the calculator, we will get 1061 Ohm. Okay, next we want to find the value for VRMS and also IRMS. Okay, so if you want to find VRMS, actually here already give to you, VRMS is 240. Okay, if the question didn't mention maximum, peak or amplitude, meaning that the value that they give to you actually is RMS. Okay, so we don't need to calculate VRMS already given 240 volt. Okay, now we want to find IRMS. Okay, so V equals to IR. Okay, because here we are using resource, therefore R here we must use R total when R total is equal to impedance. So it's 240. Okay, I we don't know. Okay, I is the value that we want to find. So you need to find the impedance first. So where impedance here is equal to R square plus XL minus XC square and then square root. So the value for R is 350 square, XL is 471 
x c is 1061 squared. Okay, so after pressing the calculator, the impedance that we have is equals to 686 ohm. So substitute inside here 686. Therefore, IRMS will equal to 0 0.35. So again, just now the value that I substitute is RMS. Therefore, the value for I also RMS. Okay, so this is the answer for VRMS and also IRMS. Okay, next one is the power factor. And also you need to sketch a facial diagram. So power factor cos theta. Okay, is equal to R over Z or VR over V source. So later, we need to calculate what is the power factor. So since we have the R and also impedance, okay, R is uh, given just now is 350. So I will use the this equations to find where R is 350. Impedance also, we already found just now 686. Okay, therefore, uh, cos theta is equal to 0 0.51 radian. Okay, okay next, sketch a facial diagram. Okay, so when I start from 0 degree, we are in phase with I. Okay, and then our, okay, here we can use either VR or we can use R. Okay, actually it's similar. Huh? Since we have the value of, for uh, XL and also XC, so we, I will use the uh, resistance huh, to, to draw the, to sketch the facial diagram. Okay, so our VL is for, okay, VL here shorter because only, VL only 471 ohm. And then our VC is longer, VC. Okay, because VC is equal to 1,061 ohm. Okay, so this is the official diagram for the circuit. Okay. Since VC is greater than VL, therefore our resultant Y component is acting at the negative Y exit. Okay, so our resultant V source is actually below the negative, the positive x exit. Eh? So this is our V source and this is the theta angle. Okay, and here we can label VC minus VL because VC is greater. Okay, next, find. So the average power dissipated by the circuit actually we are referring to P average or the power loss inside the resistor. So we can use either I square R or V square over R or we can use IV. Eh? But V here we must use V for resistor. And remember all this value we must take R and S. Okay, so it depends on what the information we have. Okay, so since we have uh, the value for I and also R, so we take the first equations, okay, where I is equal to, where I is equal to 0 0.35, okay, so I substitute 0 0.35 square, and your resistor is 350 ohm. Therefore, P average is equal to 42.88 watt. Okay, so we will continue with example 17. As number 17, a 100 microfarad capacitor, 4 Henry inductor, 35 ohm resistor are connected in series with the alternating source. So V is equal to 520 sine 100T. Number one, find the frequency of the source. Okay, so since here we have already give you the, uh, the omega. So omega is equal to 2 pi F where omega is 100. Therefore, F is equal to 100 over 2 pi. The frequency of the source is equal to 15.9 hertz. Okay, next we want to find the capacitive reactance and also capacitive inductive reactance. Okay, so Xc is equal to 1 over omega C. Since we have omega, so we can use omega C. So omega is 100, C is equal to 100 microfarad. Okay, therefore our Xc is equal to 100 ohm. Okay, next we want to find the inductive reactance Xl is equal to omega L. Omega is 100, L is 4. Okay. So our inductive reactant is equal to 400 ohm. Okay, next, find the impedance of the circuit. Okay, so impedance equation Z is equal to R square plus XL minus XC square. The okay, impedance is actually similar like uh, R total. Okay, so our R here, the questions give us R is 35 ohm. XL is 400. XC is 100 square and then square root. Okay, therefore our impedance is equal to 302 ohm. Okay, next, we want to find the peak current. Okay, so the peak current, actually, we want to find the value for I0. So we can take V0 equals to I0 Z. Okay, and here, if I say you use Z, meaning that we must use source. Huh? Okay, source meaning that it's total. So from the equation given, our V total is equal to 520. Okay, so I substitute inside 520, the maximum value for the voltage. And I0, we don't know. Okay, Z is the impedance or the value for R total. So it's 302. 
Therefore, I naught is equal to 1.72 ampere. Okay, next we want to find the phase angle. So the phase angle we can use tangent theta to find. Okay, where the tangent theta is equal to xl minus xc over r, or we can use vl minus vc over v source. Okay, depends on what other equations you have. So since we have xl, xc, and resistor, so we use the first equations. Okay, so I substitute inside where xl is 400, xc is 100 over r is uh, equal to 35. Okay, so the final answer, the phase angle is equal to arc tangent 300 over 35. So we will get 1.45 radian. Okay, or you can leave it in degree also, okay, it depends on the calculator mode. Okay, next one, the last one is the power factor. Power factor is cos theta. Okay, so since we already find the, the phase angle, the theta, so we can straight away use cos theta, okay, cos 1.45, uh, this one in radian. Uh. Okay, or if you want to uh, write in radian, also just now you can also find the angle is in 83.3 degree. Okay, so either you substitute cos 1.45 radian or cos 83.3. So the final answer for the power factor is equals to 0 0.117. Okay, so that's all for chapter 6, alternating current. Okay, we continue with the next chapter. We will start with the next chapter, chapter 7. Okay, geometrical optics. See you on the next video. Bye.